Today we're reading the Christmas book and look, Santa's beard is blowing. I think Santa should <laughs> cut his beard. <laughs> we are reading a book called It Was the Night Before Christmas by Clement C. Moore. Clement C. Moore? Mm -hmm. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that Santa soon would be there. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that Santa soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter away to the window I flew like a flash tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the crest of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below when what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer look it's santa and his reindeer is that right beautiful with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Santa. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet and Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the house top the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and Santa too. I think this is Phoebe. It's the only one having a red nose, right? <laughs> Very good. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof as I drew in my hat and was turning around. Down the chimney Santa came with a bound. Oh, yeah. He 
was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. <laughs> That's right. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. And he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a ball and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the dawn of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. And that's all for now. We would like to thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed Santa Storm. What really happens the night before Christmas? <gasps> right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Santa comes down through the chimney and fills all the stockings with Christmas okay. gifts. Very good, yes. And this is Rudolph, yes, because we know Rudolph's dad. Mom, Mom. Red nose. Mom. Okay, thank you for watching. We Bye. wish you Merry Christmas. Bye. Good night. Yeah, Happy New Year. Bye. We wish you Merry Christmas. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Bye bye, guys. If you like this video, press this subscribe button.